Hey guys, here at the Tiffin Tech headquarters, we like to pretty much automate, well, everything. And today, we're gonna do just that with Python. Aren't we, bro? Well, this is a little awkward considering it is just me. Just me. Hey friends, today we are going to be doing some really fun things with Python to automate our lives. Now these are some simple things that you can do with Python to really make your life easier. These are ideas that you can build on your own or on their own, or you can also implement and build into a larger project. I absolutely love building things or tinkering, tinkering with Python because it is so versatile. You can build things that really solve real world problems or your real world problems. And and it's a lot of fun. All right, let's dive into some really fun projects. Well, let's scratch the word projects. These are more really cool things you can do with Python and build projects around them. All right, let's go. We're, we're going here, so come. All right, ready? One, two, one, two. No, okay, serious. Okay, the first one I wanna talk about is creating our own Google search with Python. Now you're probably thinking, well Tiff, why wouldn't I just open up Google? Well friend, because we like to do everything as little work as possible. And this is a fun way to really uh, have this Python script that you can just query and get back your search instead of having to open up Google. More so in actuality or reality where I think this would come in handy is if you are building an application that you want to implement a Google search functionality within that application. So as you can see on screen here, I'm inside REPL or the forever debate, is it REPL it or REPL? Regardless though, let's go ahead and get started. So with REPL, unlike say VS Code, we don't need to install packages by doing pip install the package. We can go here down to where it says packages and ensure that you have installed for this one, Google. Once it's installed, go back to your main.py and then let's start typing. So from this, we are doing from Google search uh, import and we are just importing the search. Then we are going to have a query and this query will be essentially whatever you are going to be asking Google. So for this case, let's say best courses on, best courses on coding. Let's just stick with the tech theme here. Once again, this can be whatever you want. And then let's loop over the results. So for I in uh, search, See, this is really cool. I have installed, as you can see, or not installed, but I pay for Ghostwriter on REPL, so it'll actually help us write our code, which is pretty cool, even though I wrote it wrong. But anyways, search query, and then let's do TLD equals CO dot I N. Let's also give it the number that we are going to have it return. So number will equal, say, 10 in this case. Uh, and it will stop at once it hits 10 as well. And pause equals two. All right, perfect. Now let's go print I, which will return us the results. Query, what does it look like here? Name and define search. That would make sense. Now people always ask when I do these tinkering or building videos, they're like, Tiff, what are you looking at when you're typing? Well, I have this script of what I am working off of. I don't have all of these things perfectly memorized to a T what we are building. So I built it, then I record it. That's a process. All right, it is updating packages. What do we have here? Cannot import name search from Google search. From Google search, import search, query, Best courses on coding for I in search. Query to the, why don't you like us? We just installed a package. Did we install a package? Yeah, Google, okay, remove. Let's try this again here. This is real time coding, tinkering, whatever you want to call it. It's been very slow. Install. I don't think it's the code. The code seems to be, I mean, it's so simple. We will see though. And look at the CPU, it's not happy. It's okay. Are you ready? I think they're ready. I think we're ready. Yay! Pretty cool. So you can see here now, we have the 10 best courses on coding. 
uh, we are getting the results Google is returning. So this is super cool, very simple package Google that you can build around, but it makes it really fun that you can add it to an application. Think of getting this list or this results and being able to display it on your application or use it in varying ways. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is convert an image into a PDF. And this is something I feel like I always am finding the need for. Maybe a company is sending me uh, what they think is a document and I need to sign it, but it's in the format of a JPEG or PNG. And I'm like, I need to just send me the PDF. But for whatever reason, it always seems to be an issue. So what I built here or what we are going to build is a very simple, a script using image to PDF, which is a package in Python that will allow you to convert images into PDFs. Let's get into it. So you can see here, I am using the package image to PDF. And then all we need to do is, let's go with open. And then once again, you can see Ghostwriter here. We are going to be using this image here, image.png. So let's update this. Ghostwriter is cool, but it also has its flaws I find with image open as F, perfect. And then let's add an RB here, perfect. Let's see if it knows what it's doing. Image equals F dot read. Yeah, actually it's pretty close to what I had. Then let's do PDF file, yeah, I guess it could be file. Uh, PDF, let's call it PDF bytes equals image to PDF convert, pass an image. Yes, correct. And then with open output PDF, which is taking the image and outputting it as a PDF, which is also correct. This is scary how good this is. And then yes, write PDF bytes, which is coming from here. All right, let's see the new PDF generated or if it does work, I don't even know. Well, I, I do know, but hopefully. And there you go, you can see now we have output PDF. So this is super handy to have on, on file or whatever you wanna call it on hand with you for when you want to convert these images into PDFs. So you can see here, I don't know, it might take a while to load. This is the image, I mean, look at Mr. Muggs, he's so cute. And I wanted to convert to a PDF, so if we click here, it might take a bit longer because it's gonna be super large. Come on. And then there we go, that is really zoomed in. You can see here, we have the PDF version of it. Number three on the list is making your own translator. And this is something with Python that is super easy to do as well, but I always wanted to build my own translator application that you can then use when you are traveling or different things like that, communicating with different uh, individuals who might not speak the same language as you. So let's go ahead and build our own. The first thing we need to do is import the translate package and let's go into here. Actually, fun fact, if you simply just run the code after you've completed it, it will install packages for you, but I find sometimes it doesn't work completely, so let's just go ahead and take the extra two seconds and install it. Hello. Should go get a coffee or something while we're waiting. This is taking a long time. Actually, while it's waiting, what do you prefer? Coffee or tea? I feel like I've become too much of a coffee person, which is becoming a problem. Might have to go on a coffee detox, but I really don't want to. All right, let's see if it's ready. Well, we'll let it still install and we'll continue on. So next up, let's declare a translator. And that will equal translator. And we're gonna pass, oops. I am not doing this right, import translate. Uh, we're doing this all backwards here. From translate import translator. Thank you very much. There we go. Translator equals translator, and then we are going to pass in the to the language. So let's say to lang, for example. Uh, we are going to do Spanish. Perfect. Okay, and then if we want to find the final translation, translation equals translator, just coming from here, translate, we're going to translate this. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, you know what, let's leave it at that. I like that, that's, that's pretty good. All right, now let's go ahead and print out the translation. 
It's my first time running this. I, I tested some of the other ones, but I haven't tested this one, so let's see. Whoa, hola, como estas? Estoy bien, gracias. Sen? For all my Spanish speaking people out there, I am so sorry, I feel like I'm butchering this. But it's so fun. So you can easily translate, say this is for Spanish, but you can do Hindi, English, whatever you prefer. All right, those are three really interesting and fun things that you can do with Python. It's, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the possibilities with Python really feel endless and they're so fun. We, we built these small, simple things that you can either use on their own to automate your life throughout varying ways, or you can also build into further projects, which is a really fun way too. Speaking of that, I need to find a way to automate coffee to like inject in my system every day. How do I do that? I need help. Someone have a tutorial for that? All right, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave in the comments other videos you want to see around career, coding, uh, personal, any of the above, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.